Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series for the channel. I thought since it was a new year, I'd bring a new game to the channel. Now this is a bit of an older game for some. But it's new to me and it's a very special game in particular. Because a dear older friend of mine gave it to me for Christmas a few years back. And I wanted to play it for everyone, and I finally have a chance to do so. But as you can see, we have single player, multiplayer, options, language, and exit. The game is called Pumpkin Days. The rest of the game information will be down in the description below. I hope you enjoy! But for this playthrough, we're going to play single player. Once again, thank you to my dear, sweet, older friend who sent this to me for Christmas a few years back. I'm sorry it took me so long to play it, but here we go. As usual, I will be playing this with controller. But there are keyboard and mouse options for those who prefer the keyboard and mouse. Looks like we have a few different save slots too. That's good. Character creation! Yay! Y'all know I love this kind of stuff. So let's see. Um. Do do do. What to choose? Oh, for those who are curious, I have the music muted. So that I don't have copyright issues later. Y'all know how that goes. I think this will be a fun little game. I like to do these farming sim sort of games to relax. I thought it'd be a nice opener for the year. Let's see. I put my name in last, but I want to get us some decent stuff here. Uh, where to start? Let's bring out the hips a little. There we go. The muscle tone down some. I'm a little on the skinny side myself, so let's see. Put some clothes on you. That was helpful. Let's see. Um. Oh darn! There's no purple. Well, that's disappointing. There we go. Um, oh, I can make my hair purple though. That's good. Got a lot of styles to choose from. Which is very nice indeed. Because of the character creation, this is going to be a bit of a longer video than usual. Oh, this looks pretty.
Oh, well, that's a very bright purple, but we can work with it. Let's see. Ooh. Some very pretty colors here. That one better, I think. Oh. Yeah, we'll go with the gut reaction of the original eyes. Turn you around, see how long the hair is. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, that gives me my eyelashes. I'll keep the eyelashes. That looks good. Eyebrows. No. No. <laughs> mm. No. <laughs> if you don't want to feel, if you don't want to, um, Watch the character creation. Feel free to move ahead. I'll try to remember to leave a timestamp down in the uh, description and comment section as well for those who would like to skip this part. I rather enjoy it. See what this is.
personality. Ooh. Which one best describes me? That is a very good question. Mm. Let's go with this one. Oh, here we go. Favorite food. Let's see if my favorite food is in here. Pasta, yes. It is most definitely pasta, for those who didn't know. <laughs> That's very true. Excuse me just a minute, folks, while I put this next part in. I'll be back with y'all shortly. And we're back. Now I'm not sure what the difficulty difference is, but I'd say for our first try, let's go for a relaxed type of and see what that is. Three percent gold penalty for passing out. No deadline for your museum completion goals. No animal death. And no bug attacks. That sounds perfect because being the animal lover I am, I don't want to see that awful thing happen to anyone's animal. Whether it is in real life or otherwise. <laughs> but just out of curiosity, I'll go ahead and read the rest of them. Normal difficulty is 10% gold penalty for passing out, 50% museum completion goal, no animal death, or as we will say for the rest of this video and playthrough, no animals will be unalive. <laughs> Bugs will attack, tools break, except for Meteor tools. Hard mode is 25 gold penalty for passing out, 70% museum completion. Animals will be unalive in hard mode. Bugs will attack, and tools will break easily. And of course, last but not least, we have Challenge Mode. 50% gold penalty for passing out, 98% museum completion goal, animals will be unalive, bugs will attack, and tools consistently break. 
Relax mode it is. And now we put in my name. Now that my character looks the way I want her to, we'll put in my name. And here we go, everybody. Yes. Ooh. Where do we want to start? Well, since we're starting this playthrough in January, at the time of recording this, let's do the mountain town. Why not? Give ourselves a bit of a challenge, even though we're on relax mode. Oh, what an adorable pumpkin! Nice. We're officially off the boat. Okay, that's how that works. Year one, spring one, Monday, 8 a.m. Hello. That's me, I think. Yep, that's my name. The entire time she was talking to me, it wouldn't let me turn around. I hope she didn't think I was being rude. Oh! That's interesting. We have the map. Divided into each place. Diamond Falls, where we live. Pumpkin Vale. And Wahoo Beach. And this is our world map. Wow, not bad. Okay, nice. Oh, good. I'm glad that it notices when I've got the game back. That's very helpful. 
such a pretty fountain. Okay. A is the jump button. X is probably the interaction button. I don't know what that does. And Y is our inventory. For those who might be using a controller such as myself. We have a property voucher. Close the map, please. I'll just use the mouse. Oh, I thought we could read it. Okay, never mind. There we go. Property voucher with a discount on some farmland. Take this to the mayor to claim your new farmland. Nice. Okay, let's go exploring, shall we? Do I get to see my face? <laughs> and our compass is up top. That's good to know. Yes, I should talk to the mayor. That's a good point. Except I don't know where the mayor is. The Diamond Diner. Well, the mayor could be having lunch. Nope. Okay. Guess the mayor is over here. Can I pet Casper? Hi, Casper. I can pet the cat. Life is good. <laughs> I am complete. I can pet the cat. <laughs> Yay. Ah! My goodness. Oh, it's the mayor. Hello. That's an interesting outfit you've got on. Hello. That's me. Ooh. I live in a strong mining town with plenty of ores and fossils to be found. I gotta make the museum a cinch. Maybe. I do. Did I give it to you?
I'm going to keep doing that throughout this playthrough. I know I am. I guess I give it to you somehow. How do I give it to you? Oh, that's awfully nice of her. The lake plot sounds nice. Yes, I am extremely overwhelmed, Fukuyama. Thank you for noticing, but this should be fun. Okay, according to our journal, we can visit the home improvement shop, and that's owned by Ross. We can visit Kim at the post office. We can go to the farm and visit Tiffany. Natsuo owns the local farm shop. Bishop owns the local blacksmith. Joshua owns the furniture shop. Greg owns the local diner. And Clem owns the local animal shop. Okay. Nice and neat. 
don't have any animals yet. That's our relationship panel for each of the places. Our calendar. Ooh, yay! We get to carry a calendar with us. That's good. I was a little concerned about that. I gotta say, that's a pretty painting she has back there. That's how we change clothes, okay. Oops. Okay. That's taken care of. Thank you, Maya Fukuyama. Let's see. Bye, Casper. See you later. It's nice that it opens for us. I want to get my mouse cursor out of the way. Let's see. Oh, I should mention in the options menu that I was in before recording, there is an autosave option, which I have done so that I don't forget to save. Because I will forget. I'm betting this is the way to the mine. Oh! This is the animal shop. I think. Hello? Nice to meet you, Andrew. Oh, that's too close. That's a nice distance, I think. <coughs> Well, if it's not the animal shop, somebody lives up here. Oh, this is Tiffany's house. Okay. I know I have a map, but I would rather explore on my own. Diamond Sky Road, okay. Tells me the mind. I don't want to go. We are nowhere near ready to explore the mines yet. I gotta say, the game looks nice.
I can't read what your name is. It's too small. Can I talk to you? No. I still can't pronounce it. Go over here. Hi, Greg. Hey, yo. That's me. Oh, Greg is going to teach us to cook. That's all say nice of him. I didn't see anybody in there we could talk to, though. Because I saw the person behind the counter that we couldn't talk to. Well, aren't you an interesting Once again. Person? Hello, Joshua. Sarah. Okay. Like Sarah, but with an S. Okay. I can do that. Ooh, so you're the interior decorator for the wall night. Nice. I just want to go around town and meet everybody. This has to be the black. Oh no, this is where Joshua makes the furniture and stuff. Okay. That's the diner again. This is probably the post office. Hello there, Kim. Keep up. That's right. Nice to meet you too. I should probably find my house before it gets too dark. Sorry, I didn't mean to pass out. I was trying to get home. It's snowing today. Lovely. I 
Okay, we're finally headed in the right direction, everybody. Which is good, because I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, we're finally here. This is our little house, everybody. I think. Might be this one. Yeah. This is it. All right. I think the bed will go nicely with this window. Where did I go? Aha. There's the bed. Here. Didn't want to do that. I'll do that on accident. There we go. Pick up the bottle. Now, we get the bed in order. we go. All right, everybody. I think that'll do it for today's episode. 